Hello, this is Father Michael Nasser from St. Nicholas Orthodox Church here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, for this week's midweek reflection. And this week, I was planning on reflecting on sport and athleticism as a way of understanding uh, an, ex an analogy of our Christian life. Because, of course, it's the Olympics and sports on a lot of people's minds. However, <laughs> we couldn't get past the opening ceremonies without having this huge controversy. So I'm going to postpone the sport conversation another day. And I am going to weigh in on what a lot of people have already weighed in on, which was uh, the uh, display, as we shall say in, in a nice term, of what happened during the opening ceremonies. Now, I will say, first of all, I have not seen it. I have seen reports about it. I've seen pictures of it. I've seen clips, short clips of it. And I've heard a lot of people's reactions to it from the Christian world of the display of what some people say was Da Vinci's Last Supper. Other people say was the Feast of Dionysius. I think it was clear it was both. If you look at it, it's pretty unmistakable. It was both um, done, of course, with drag queens as the people in the place of Christ and the apostles. Now, a lot of really important things have been said that I do agree with. I agree it was blasphemous. I agree it was offensive. I agree that it didn't have any place in an opening ceremony of the Olympics, even if it's Paris, France, and all of the cultural history of avant-garde and all these other things. Okay, fine with all of that. But here's what I have not heard yet. And I'm not saying it hasn't been said, because I haven't really watched a lot of, of social media on this. I haven't watched a ton of reports on it. But I have not heard this message yet. But I've been saying it to a lot of people who say to me, hey, what do you think? Here's my take on it. Yes, it was all those things. Blasphemous, offensive, all those things. But you know what? We are Christians. We are followers of Jesus Christ. The symbol of our faith is a cross. And a cross, yes, in our faith is a sign of victory. It's Christ's victory over death and back to life and resurrection. It's a victory over sin. However, the cross is a sign of blasphemy. It's a sign of mockery. They put our Lord on the cross. And before they did that, they mocked him. They spat on him. They tortured him. And from his time forward, people have treated Christians in the same way. And I'm not saying there isn't a place for some people to speak prophetically and say it shouldn't have been done. and That's fine. But the standard Christian response when we are mocked and our God is blasphemed is we take it the way he took it. We take it with patience. We don't have to agree with it. But to me, the power of Christianity is not with one voice. We're going to say, don't you ever do that. Can't talk about us that way. No, that's not a Christian response. The Christian response is, we believe in our God. And our God tells us we don't need anyone to treat us anyway. You want to treat us well? You want to mistreat us? It's okay, because our God takes care of us. Now, one of the videos I saw, it was a beautiful video, a lot of great things, including a quotation from St. John Chrysostom, who apparently at one point said, hey, if you see somebody blaspheming, go and smack them on the face, sanctifying your hand. Now, that's St. John Chrysostom. I'm sure, again, there's a place for that. But even that priest didn't recommend people go out and do that. What I am saying, I'm recommending to myself and to all of you fellow Christians, especially Orthodox Christians, it's not that we don't care. It's not that we don't mourn and weep the fact that our God was blasphemed. We do. But what's our response? Our response is not to be anything different than his was. He didn't stand up and say, this is unjust, you better stop this. In fact, he told us, if they mistreat me, they're going to mistreat you. If they reject me, they're going to reject you. This is the standard way Christians are treated. We're mocked, you're, we're humiliated, our God is blasphemed, and you know what? It doesn't matter to us in the sense that we trust our God, who in the end, as we've been hearing a lot of people quoting the scriptures, God is not mocked. Now, if you look at that verse in Galatians, it's not saying, hey, if you mock God, you're in trouble. Oh, you outsiders mocking our God. That's not the, the context. 
the context God is not mocked in Galatians is we who are Christians better take care of ourselves and our own responsibility and our own actions. Why? Because God is not mocked. In other words, we claim God as our leader. We claim him as our model. And if we claim him that way, we have to follow him. And we have to follow all those who followed him, namely the martyrs, people who died for the faith, the confessors, who suffered for their faith, who didn't go out protesting everyone who mistreated them and blasphemed our God. So, if you're going to be a Christian, you are a follower of the Jesus of the cross. You take it, not because it doesn't matter, you take it because our God has all of this under control, and by our faithfulness and patience in him, and not overreacting and imposing ourselves on other people, saying, you can't talk about us that way. No, that's not what we Christians say. We say, you can say whatever you want. In fact, we say, you can do to us whatever you want. You want to nail us to a cross? As Christians, that's what we should be prepared for. Why? Because God is not mocked. We should be looking at our own lives, our own ways of living our Christian faith, faithfully, honestly, in a committed way, and not spend our time as Christians monitoring other people and how they portray us or our God. That's my take. I'm not saying people with different takes are wrong. I'm just telling us, I'm, I'm telling you and I'm telling myself, the main thing as Christians as we do is we follow our God in reacting the way he reacts. Now, in the end, it's going to be different. We're all going to be judged. People who did that, those acts during those opening ceremonies, and all of us, we're going to be judged. And let's be honest, we who say we are Christians, let alone Orthodox Christians, we're going to be judged much harsher than anybody else. So, because God is not mocked, we ought to be spending much more of our time monitoring our own life, our own responses, our own internal disposition of our hearts, and worrying a whole lot less about policing the rest of the world what they say. People are going to say what they're going to say. Our job is to love. To love, to trust in God, and not to fight for our rights and fight for our dignity. We Christians are people who believe in following God into indignity, into mistreatment, into being uh, maligned in all kinds of ways. But not needing the praise of men, needing only the praise of God. So, I hope you find that helpful. If so, please share with your friends. And God willing, next week we'll actually talk about athletics. God bless.